Hey, uh, Martin here with the 520, the MD520. Um, one of the interesting things about this is it's kind of pretty tail heavy, so maneuvering it around an airfield needs you know, some careful handling. We have the old TLC type, and they're kind of pretty big pieces of uh, equipment, as you can, uh, as you can see. Um, and, you know, a little bit cumbersome, so uh, the good folks over at Chopper Spot in the US have uh, created an incredible device uh, that has four arms that will pick this thing up and make it really easy. So the quick news is they've just, uh, they've just arrived. Uh, every unboxing video needs the knife. Uh, need, need and uh, here we are. We've got, we've got two, so we have one at the remote place. Um, and uh, we're going to start. Uh, Non spillable batteries, there's a, a packing slip we probably just should, uh, should take out. Which we'll, we'll do. And uh, there we are, chopper spotter in uh, Roseman MN, uh, two ICE helicopters. So, model for 220 volt, kind of important. Um, and here we go. So, I'm just going to try and take it with some of the uh, plastic, first of all, so we can see what we're this probably isn't a, uh, a one person operation because this is you know, pretty heavy so uh, I'll call in some uh, help soon but for the fun bit I get to, uh, I get to do this. Um, one of the unique things about this particular one is it has this new uh, remote control system um, which is in one of these boxes. I have no idea in fairness which one it is but I guess we've got a certificate of conformance that says, uh, and an invoice from Jacob Brecken. Um, never really one for instructions, but this is, uh, I'm assuming, uh, all the instructions and what we have to do with it. Ground handling, how we charge. Um, so we'll have to uh, get this to our tech guys to make sure that everything uh, is uh, as it uh, should be. It looks like the inspection report is correct. It's the destination. Uh, my name, serial number, and uh, everything looks like it's good to go. So I'll put that back in a safe place because um, I'm notoriously bad at uh, keeping the bits of paper I need. And we'll put that uh, over here on the second one. And then uh, in here, it looks like these are the individual uh, adjustable clamps that go on to the uh, onto the, uh, the skids themselves. So these were made specifically. Um, for this, but in actual fact, as you can see, they uh, with a bit of adjustment, they can be on, uh, on, on any one. And it's the fact that you can uh, adjust these to the right size that keeps it really steady and prevents uh, the helicopter from uh, rocking back. This particular model is for, you know, most medium to large size helicopters will uh, work on a, a track or a jet range, anything with, uh, without uh, floats. So we've got uh, a boxer. I was going to pick up that box, but it's pretty heavy, so I'll do them uh, one by one. We can place these over here. And then, of course, we can uh, recycle all this uh, paper. That's really good. Oh, this is the gift that keeps on giving. Okay, so it looks like this is actually screwed down into the, uh, into the base, so... Good news, we happen to have a uh, screwdriver handy. So let's do that. So just undoing this from the, uh, this, this is particularly nicely, uh, nicely packaged for, uh, for shipping. So those, those uh, plates off, I'll pop those in the tool bag just we need them, um, although I have never seen a cardboard box so well secured before. Um, and then I'm guessing we have the same, uh, same again here. Not really sure what's, uh, what's in this one. Any health and safety comments regarding my knife usage? Happy to receive those. Um, oh, this is the, the exciting bit. Sync with sync, use this one. Okay. So it looks like we have uh, a spare controller, interestingly. So this is a so this, this is the unique feature of this particular model. I'll try and open this without scratching anything or damaging anything. But the 
So when we get to this later on, we'll see that this is actually how we operate. See, I was always good at Christmas presents. There we go. So this basically uh, is the control unit. So forward, reverse, up, down. So rather than having to have a cable attached, what we're able to do is to, is to hold on to this. And as long as you remember that forward, reverse, up, down effectively, I guess we're not playing a musical instrument here. Uh, and then we've got actually our speed here. So the concept being, we, we get the chopper spot underneath and then we just kind of steer from behind and we can control uh, we can control the speed uh, forward and reverse uh, from this and of course we've then got uh, the ability to uh, uh, stop and go as uh, instantly. So this is synced for this particular machine and the good folks at Chopper Spotter have given us an extra handheld controller. Um, I'm not really, do not sync you until needed. Um, yeah, it says if both transmitters use the same time, obviously that's a problem. So we, we, I guess we'll put this one away for the point that we need the spare one. So this, this is kind of their latest, Chop Spotter's absolute latest model up until now. They were, they, they were uh, wired. So that's, that's kind of exciting. So we'll put that, uh, put that away there as well, say. Um, and then, oh, the all important charging. Um, so this is uh, the charging cable, we've got that there. Now this is a very nice surprise. We have our own chopper spotter USB cable, which I guess is, to, well, pretty sure is, so we can charge this, which it is. Uh, micro USB charger, that, that, and that. Um, so that's how we, uh, we charge this. Um, and, now this is very exciting. Our own chopper spotter baseball hat. So, stop me stealing my hat. Yeah, that's uh, that's great. As Jack says, that will stop me stealing his uh, his hat. Now I'm not sure whether to keep wearing this or take it off. But I think I'll probably take it off for the moment. Um, Jack, I think, is wondering whether there's a second hat in that one that he can have. <laughs> that will remain to be uh, remain to be seen. Um, then there's basically it's at this point that I realise that this unboxing is going to be the easy part. Quite how I assemble any of it. Uh, it's going to be clearly for somebody way smarter, but I'm, I get the hat. Um, so we've got quite a few more bits. I'm just trying to get down to the point whereby that we can actually get to see the, uh, the chocolate spotter itself. Um, this may well be the longest unboxing video in history. Um, and clearly I've watched a lot of these, uh, these things on iPhones and Samsungs and whatever. And this is the, uh, the last one. So that's our four, uh, our four legs there. And then again, our folks at uh, Chopper Squatter have uh, done a great job of making sure this is very secure for uh, shipment. So I'm just going to get those bolts out of there. Great to see such quality of uh, workmanship. You know, and uh, unpacking. I mean, these guys did such a superb job of getting it to us very quickly, and uh, we actually got a chance to say hello to them over at the uh, exhibition in uh, in Anaheim. So there we are. So now we've just got one more box, which is also nicely uh, attached. Remove, remove that one. Let's see what's in there. Uh, this says the battery charger. And uh, that's got all the necessary protections in there to keep it nice and uh, nice and safe. And there is our quick charge onboard battery charger. So we'll put that there. We'll take this out. Let's see if we can get rid of these things here. This is a bit more difficult. there we are okay so now we have pretty much uh, everything uh, out of it ready for to remove these uh, big units here which are holding it all in, in place I don't recall exactly how heavy it, uh, it all was but uh, pretty heavy I think it's just okay we're just gonna take a pause for one second while I get a new uh, attachment be right be right back
might have to come back to that one. In fact, we're going to have to get something a little bit stronger than this because the, uh, the folks at Chopper Spotter have made sure this could never move anywhere. So, back with you again. Right, so, uh, yeah, take three. Now got uh, a slightly uh, heavier duty uh, drill here. And I guess what we can see is the way this has been done is they, they, they've kind of packed it under here and then they've put these things under pressure because in actual fact, now, um, very difficult to, uh, to put that back down again. So that's a good example of, of how it was packed so well for, uh, for shipping. I'm just going to leave that little bit there just in case this thing springs up and... Okay. So that can go over here nicely out of the way because that's got screws in. Let's just be nice and careful with that. And then we've got one, uh, one more here. Okay. And that one uh, out. Okay, so we're making progress. Uh, these are those little packing materials I mentioned. Nothing too exciting, but clearly practical. Use of cardboard. And uh, there we go. This is the, uh, the main part itself. Um, these are the, uh, the cross members. This is effectively the part that's moving to, uh, to, to lock those uh, units in place. And I guess we've got the, 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 the drive here. Now we're just going to take the end panel off. And we'll probably just hang on to this uh, packaging for the uh, for a while. Um, one good tip is to hang on to these little cross members. They're quite used to pop underneath the skids uh, for when you put the helicopter down. It just makes it really easy to uh, get the chopper spotter jigs in place. <laughs> Okay, so it looks like we are ready to see what uh, what we've got here. Quick wardrobe adjustment, and uh, away we go. So, this, so these are the individual um, legs. So we'll just take these off. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to actually borrow this oh, bit that sorry. Jack was kind of moving out of the way. <laughs> um, so we can lay them down here so we don't uh, scratch these beautifully uh, painted arms. So four of those. And I can't yet figure out whether they're they're the same or not. Just the no, it's left and right. Three. Four. We've got those. This is effectively the, the light, and if we wanted to steer from here, we can do so. That's going to come out probably in, uh, in one piece. A little, little switch there. I'm not sure why I looked to see if it would go on because it's not got the power to it. And then this is the, uh, the cross member, which is actually pretty heavy. Stuff. Also, uh, getting my steps and exercise in for the day here, all in one go. Okay, so that looks like the majority of those pieces. Um, and we've got some more plastic we can use to tie again later on. And then guess what? We've got some more things to unscrew. So we're going to go ahead and do that, and then I'll be back with you in just a moment. Put that down, and then, whoa, check that out. 
Hello, chopper spotter. So, what have we got? Master disconnect. These are, wow, this is kind of a chunky bit of equipment. I guess this is the, the, main, uh, the main drive system here, our uh, other pair of batteries. And you can see the chain there and then the other motor here. Um, hydraulics actually are over here. So this is, wow, this is one beautifully made uh, bit of equipment which is going to make our job here a whole lot easier moving this beautiful 520 in and out of the, uh, of the hangar.